besties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, we are currently doing a thing tonight in which we are doing three videos about David Dobrik's apologies because yes, there are two to go through and then there's a lot of mmm about both of them. So we're going to be doing this where I just posted one. We talked about his first apology video which was uploaded on his least subscribed and least popular YouTube channel for his podcast and um, it was two minutes long and it was extremely hypocritical and the title was called Let's Talk. But yet he turned off the likes and comments, and dislikes for that matter too. So let's talk, but only it's just him talking at us. So that was the first one. It didn't go down well whatsoever. So he now issued a second apology two days ago or yesterday, and we're going to talk about that. The reason we're splitting this up is because you'll completely understand if you've never seen these or you have seen these. They're so different from each other, so putting them in the same video looks extremely bad for David and just doesn't make sense to the narrative, which again is why we're then going to have the conversation of them both together. But they're both just so bad on their own that we can look at it like that. This one is a bit more splitting of the people though, and we're going to get to that. So. As you're aware, the David Dobrik situation, you know, I kind of have to say a little piece at the start um, on what is happening, just so if this is the first one you're clicking. David is being accused of enabling uh, kind of P-R-E-D-A-T-O-R behavior from his friends to young girls to intoxicated girls and creating an unsafe work environment and putting, you know, all these women in danger, allegedly, and all like this. And so there was an insider article done by Kat Tenbarge, which basically detailed um, a woman um, called Hannah, well that was her name in the article, coming forward with her experience with Dom, a member of the vlog squad, and how she, you know, was going to meet David, and David put her in situations with Dom, and enabled, you know, his friend Dom to do things to her for the vlog, and that the friends all watched them do stuff, and it's just completely disgusting, and so David has issued apologies now, and so he did that first one on the smallest channel, and I think he did it on that really small channel, for the reason that it was kind of him addressing it, so that the drama channels, the journalists, and the people talking about it who were in the general public were kind of shut the fuck up. Now that didn't work and it got so much backlash and then it kind of went mainstream and we've only ever seen probably two YouTube cancellations go really mainstream and it's really been David Dobrik and Shane Dawson um, with the Smith family and the media picking it up and sponsors dropping him. Now what's important to note is David Dobrik was actively trying to silence people who were speaking up against this. He was putting his friends allegedly to the forefront to defend him. Then they got backlash. They deleted their tweets. They did apologies. David was leaking text conversations with, you know, his old friends to his new friends to show that David was in the right even though he wasn't. It's just an entire messy thing which contradicts this new video by David we're going to watch. Now, in terms of apologies, I want to put it out there that I think this is one of the best YouTube apologies in terms of taking it at face value. However, in terms of what he's being accused of in the situation, and overall, it's one of the worst. And the reason for that is that David Dobrik has known about all of this information for years, straight up lies in this video saying he's no longer enabling his friend Dom who did all this, even though he was with them as recently as last year. Um, he was following him on Instagram until a few days ago. Just extremely hypocritical and he's now losing all of his sponsorships. Now he's losing the biggest ones who you know get Teslas that he gives to his friends and also his app Dispo, he's been dropped from that, he's now left that. So he's literally losing all of his sponsorships and money over this so I think he wasn't addressing it in the first place so that he wouldn't lose his sponsorships but now that he's lost them he's doing a bit of a better video in the grand scheme of things and people are loving this video in terms of his subscribers. The rest of the people who know the situation and know that he, you know, has been very shady behind the scenes as until recently are being able to, you know, call it out for not being as good as it is to, you know, just the unknown eye. <laughs> so let's just watch it, honestly. So it's called 03 21 So, you know, I think he was in doing this. This is on his main channel, by the way, right? Um, I think it is, yeah. It's on his main channel. So 18 million subscribers better. Now, I think he was titling it like this so that it wouldn't be memed. And now, YouTube apologies are always memed, you know, in terms of like the titles, the doing what's right, the taking accountability. So I think him doing this really evaded that. One thing that I do just want to say is he has a trigger warning down here, which I think is great, but also extremely hypocritical because he was the one who put this content out, which involved that. Um, seems a bit, you know, hypocritical and ironic now. And also, he films this video and immediately goes like this. Hi guys, it's um, 1.45 in the morning. Wait. And I'm finally by myself. <laughs> that was intentional. You see the way he's setting up the camera and he's, you know, set it. 
He would literally have to go get his camera while he's already standing, then start filming and being like, Oh, I just got my camera, I'm sitting down. It's, in my opinion, a manipulative tactic that is just so raw and so vulnerable. And we're starting to see this in the new wave of apology videos where it's like, Oh, just setting up the camera and all like this. It's important to note that. Just think this man was probably already sitting down, got up to get his camera, then sat down, was like setting up the camera, then got up and was like, Oh, let me sit down, I'm all alone now. So it's important to note that as well. So regardless, let's just get into it. I know it doesn't sound that crazy to be by yourself at 145 in the morning, but um, this week's been pretty hectic and there have been a lot of people, um, a lot of people around telling me what to do, giving me advice, um, trying to help me, um, most importantly. And and that was a lot. And, and, and I, I, now I, I, I just want to, I want to be able to do this and just shoot straight into the camera and just talk to you guys. Um, I've put myself in a lot of situations where I needed to apologize. I mean, uh, I mean, I, I, I honestly don't get the inclusion at the start of this video. We're literally a minute in and all he told us was that he had an extremely popular week and a lot of people were over and trying to get him to do the right thing. Surely he wanted to do that himself. Again, I don't really understand the, the meaning of including that, but I'm just going to go along with it. For my past actions and I've never done this correctly and I've never done this respectfully and my last video is a testament. I, I, I don't want to defend just that video. I don't want to delete that video. I just want to be clear. What this video isn't going to be is it's not going to be me discrediting Trisha, Kat, or any other woman involved. Um, I'm go Here's the thing. It's direct right now. Very good. Very good, David. So much better than the first one. Him saying he's not deleting it or, you know, standing by it. Also good. It's a lot better than the first one, so I'm gonna give credit where credit's due, but in terms of the situation, this man is only doing an apology and sitting down and taking accountability once he lost all of his money and sponsorships. So that does not make it a genuine apology. If he did this ages ago, years ago, whatever like that, yes. But now that he's being forced to do it because he's losing all of his money, this does not make it a proper apology. Fight with me over it all you want, that is not a genuine apology. You're not apologizing because of the actions anymore. You're apologizing because you're losing because of it. I'm going to be using words um, that may trigger some survivors. And that's just so I don't explain anything vaguely. And I can explain every situation appropriately. Oh, but and also, he's saying that he doesn't want to, like, discredit Kat or whatever. However, his lawyers were certainly doing that, threatening Kat to not release the article and trying to take down her integrity and trying to make it out like she was a Trisha Paytas fan. And then the fact that he's saying about Trisha either, but yet his lawyers were trying to discredit Trisha. You shouldn't be able to be called out in hypocrisy in an apology video. I start this video off by saying I fully believe the woman who came out against Dom and said she was by him. Um, as was reported the next day, I got consent to post the video. Even though I got the consent to post that video, I should have never posted it. Okay. And I, what, what I understand now, and I didn't understand before, is that she sent that text because she felt like she had to, not because she wanted to. And that's fucked up. The text he is referring to is about her wanting David to delete this video because it was literally exploiting her and a uh, insanely disturbing event that happened in her life. Sorry. When she later reached out a couple months later to take the video down, I immediately took it down. And I want to apologize to her and her friends for ever putting them in an environment that I enabled that made them feel like their safety and values were compromised. I'm so sorry. I was completely disconnected from the fact that when people were invited to film videos with us, especially saying I'm sorry a lot better than what we're used to. Again, side-eyeing this entire thing because it was made out of fear of losing more money. Videos that relied on shock for views or whatever it was True. that I was creating an unfair power dynamic. Yeah. I did not know this before. It was completely oh. wrong and I wish I was more responsible. Okay, sorry, I, there's just a, he's saying he doesn't know he created that work power imbalance, but in his videos, he literally laughs at the fact that he can get his friends to do anything because he's putting them in the videos. I don't mean to constantly come for this video, but all I'm saying is just with what we're being presented with, it's not the entire truth. Possible, and I wish I was more aware at the time, and, I, and I'm so sorry. But I mean him saying that he wasn't was aware of it, okay? Way. And I should have been. I should have been there, and I should have been making sure that everybody involved was, was taken care of and wasn't... What he's saying here is I should have made sure that I was there. Whenever the girl had this done to her by Dom. But David, the issue is that you put her in that situation. Not that you should have been in that room. It was that 
you enabled your friend who you knew had done this before because people had came forward about this, which you address years prior. You put them in this environment for the video. So it doesn't matter about you being in the room or whatever. You put them in that situation. Uncomfortable. I don't want to use buzzwords to try to justify this or explain this, but all I can say is people felt like they had to be silent for the sake of my video and that's not right and it's fucked up and I'm sorry. True. I also want to acknowledge the women that spoke out against Dom in 2018. I'm talking about... So, there were women who came forward before this and he knows that too. Ally, and then I'm talking about other girls that address their problems privately or publicly. Um, I'm sorry I didn't listen to you guys. I am sorry that I, that I took Dom's word um, for what happened those in those certain situations and I didn't believe you and not only did I not believe you but I made a joke of of what kind of a person Dom was because I couldn't wrap my head around a childhood friend of mine doing this to people and actually oh my god this is my biggest issue here this is the thing with men oh my god someone commented on my video stop this I hate man campaign if you're getting offended by me making a joke like that, please, you're the issue. But in this situation, I mean it. I hate men like this, who are like, my, oh, I couldn't believe that my childhood friend would do something like this to woman. Because that's you protecting them. This is what enables this behavior years after year. This, that statement is so damaging. I just didn't want to believe that my childhood friend would do this. Well, he did, and believe it. This is why so many people are not listened to because they're like, my friend would never do that. My brother would never do that. My, my boyfriend would never do that. People, and, and, and I'm sorry for that. Not only did I discredit you at me, but I platformed Dom. And I'm glad this is being acknowledged. Dom, but I platformed the subject of sex in a negative way where I made jokes about it and I reinforced that kind of behavior. And I'm so sorry. And I really let... Not only you down, but a lot of people down. A lot of people that watch. Yeah, you did. My friends and family for that. I made the decision to no longer film with Dom in 2019. And I'm not saying... He was seen together with Dom in 2020, so that's not true. The content has been brilliant since then. But that's when I first started taking into account um, the power dynamic. And what influence I had on people that I was filming with. But what I didn't do is I didn't go back to any of these women and apologize. I... I kind of moved on and I learned from it and I grew from it, but I didn't address the situation with these women. I'm not talking publicly, I'm saying even privately. I didn't reach out to any of these people and that breaks my heart knowing that, that I was doing all this stuff and I was making all this content while there was here people come, that Wait, here come the tears, here come the tears. I, I made before my content Cut. shifted to be more. That's a new one, we're seeing an apology video. You know, it's kind of like... The tears are coming. Oh, we're gonna get our apology moment. Cut. Genius. We haven't seen that one before. Responsible and positive. I said and did things that were really offensive, and I called them bad jokes. And I, and I can't even call them bad jokes. And it was cowardly of me to say in my last apology that I missed the mark. Yeah. Um, because it's fucking gross. And True. I'm sorry. A lot of people reached out to me saying cancel culture is bullshit and you need to fight back and you need to call people out and I don't agree with how Why did he include that? Because to me, that just says to me, including all his past actions of the past two weeks, shows that that's like what his inner circle think. Cancel culture is bad. About it. This is not cancel culture. This is not accountability culture. This is you've done a really bad thing and let's talk about it. Let's talk about this is how you've made your career. Let's talk about all... I really, I, I think there was an ulterior motive in him including that, about, oh, people are telling me cancel culture and fight back and all like this. It's really weird that he included that. You may disagree, but to me, seems very weird and almost like that's what he was thinking. This should be taken at all. And I think when there is a crisis, there's a serious opportunity to correct yourself, to learn and improve, and to make sure those mistakes don't happen. But again. you only wanted to so whenever you were losing your sponsors. And I think with this situation, there's a lot I can look at and there's a lot I can learn from. But there's True. a lot of mistakes that I yes. made. And I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for everybody I've left down. I'm sorry to my family. And I'm sorry to my friends that I've embarrassed. And that this won't happen again. What about the I'm girls? Take a short break. What about the girls? What about the girls? 
your your side of your family? What about the girls? All the social media stuff because I realize there's a serious lack of infrastructure when I make any kind of content. I do like and this I part. I want to be able to have I like a place part. of checks and balances. I want to have HR and I want to be able um, to have people communicate discomfort in a way that's that's comfortable to them and where, where they don't feel like their emotions or what they're... I like this part of the apology where he's saying that I need to do this moving forward making videos, you know, having... If people are upset with content, like in the friend group, they can go to a member of staff rather than David. I like this part of it. I do. Doing or, or how they're acting is compromised. It, it doesn't feel right to go back to posting like I have been, and it also doesn't feel right. Also, to... people were praising that, him saying that he needs to take a break from the internet, but let's also take into consideration David has not been posting videos because of quarantine, so, I mean, he's just doing what he was normally doing. Dark, because I love what I do, but I think it is important to show that change is possible and that be waiting. I'm learning, maybe even forgiveness is possible. I want to use this opportunity to step up and own my mistakes and like I said before, I've never done apology the right way um, and I'm sure I'm going to look back at this and I'm, I'm going to be pissed at some things that I didn't say or I wish I could have added more, um, but this is... This is my beginning to that, and, and, and I'm sorry for everybody that I hurt. I also want to add that I'm making myself available to anyone that wants to reach out that I've hurt in the past. Um, I want to be able to, to hear and understand from yourselves, and I'll be reaching out on my own to some people um, because I still have a lot of learning to do, and I think when you talk to other people, uh, especially about experiences like this, it, uh, this part as well is good. You. This part as well is good. But yeah, I'm sorry if this video was all over the place. I just wanted to sit and talk and ramble. And and I, I really, truly hope that someone can take something away from this experience that another creator can, can take away from this. This part I hate. He's literally at this part saying like, oh, I hope we can all learn from this as creators, whatever. David, no one is doing this besides you. This is on you. We know what we're doing. Stop making this about us. And I know it's, it feels, because I, I know how crazy it felt to me that there was some sort of toxicity or some sort of power dynamic in my friend group. But really, just take the ways. moment, especially when creating content that you're trying to get viewership out of or you're trying to get laughs out of. Like, really take a moment and, and look at where the jokes end and where the feelings begin. Because I think that's so incredibly important. Okay. Um, I'll see you guys. Bye. Okay. Um, a lot better than the first one. Um, a lot of inconsistencies and a lot of plot holes in that apology. Um, again, I want to appreciate that there is an apology. And people are like, oh, like, what? Like, why are you hating on, like, you got your apology you wanted? A lot gets cancelled out whenever the past behaviour has been shown within the past two weeks of this apology. And also, whenever an apology was posted like that, whenever he was losing all of his sponsorships every single fucking day and had to step down from his company. Rather than weeks on end of him being aware this article was going to come out, trying to shut it down, trying to shut down people, it cancels out in my opinion. I'm still glad that, you know, for the victims, this is their apology. I'm... I... I I'm glad they're getting something besides being ignored, but still, it's just, it just doesn't seem right. Trisha said, like, he should be donating money, and I think especially when his video is about this topic, like, he's literally deleting, like, like, tens of millions of views from his channel right now. That's thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars that he's already made. Donate, like... Donate money to, you know, SA. Donate money to, like... I want to know what your opinion is, Bestie, on this. This one opens more of a conversation, I think. Um, hmm. We'll talk about it below. I love you. Thank you for watching. I know the videos have been a lot deeper recently because the topics have been heavy. Um, I want you to know that, exactly like David said, um, my social medias are always open. Um, I always have my DMs on, you know, I'm not a professional, I don't give great advice, but if you ever just want to talk, that's also there. Um, I love you, thank you for watching, my bestie, and I'll see you in my next one, and bye.